All right, guys, I just filmed a trillion back-to-back -back videos. My unboxer Emma. This is the last one. I can't even remember what it, what is this one? I don't even remember what this is. Hopefully it's mega. And hopefully it's not a scam. You know, all these buys I showed you guys in this last, either the last five videos or the next five videos, depending on when I post this one in the order, I made it through all of them without getting scammed. Facebook, private deals can be a dangerous place. You need to really do your due diligence, and I do mostly. But a couple of these, I didn't do as much due diligence as I normally did, just because I haven't really had, I've just been so busy with work. So as long as this last one's not a bag of rocks. Because people get scammed every day on there, guys. There's something called the Numistatist Official Blacklist on Facebook. So if you're buying on Facebook, become a member of that page. And any person before you check, you go and make sure their name is not on there. People get scammed. People literally get bags of rocks or boxes of rocks sent to them. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens. And it's always the new. You never buy from a new member. Oh, thank God. You never buy from a new member who just joined. That's the telltale sign. You guys, when I said thank God, I when I pulled this, I felt this scrape. And it felt like rock to jingling around <laughs> okay let's see what i got here i got me a monarch's precious metal one troy ounce i love egyptian stuff you guys if you've been watching my channel for a while you know i love egyptian stuff and i love pirate stuff and i actually took you guys on a journey to egypt uh we met daisy the camel there so daisy i took you guys into the pyramid of giza <laughs> And I took an American Silver Eagle that I had won from Silver Baggins and I put it in the freaking King's coffin in there. And some guys are like, what are you doing? Um, I took Silver Cypher's uh, Phoenix and had it all there and I ended up losing that in the airport in France. Um, we bought some Egyptian silver from Egyptian LCS. LCS stands for local coin shop. Uh, we cruised down the Nile and had fun and got attacked by pirates. And I did learn that this little cross up here it's not a cross, it's called Ankh, and it's the, tr it resembles life, not the tree of life, something of life, like life goes on, and I believe, if I remember right, this is Horus, he's the Egyptian god, like, of mummification, Horus, he's the jackal, all right, let's see what else I got here, oh, see, look at that, from the way it just broke out, you gotta be careful when you're shipping, guys. <clears throat> and I paid a little bit of pre for this. I paid a little bit of premium, but at the time I picked it up, I checked, and these were going for even more on eBay than I got it for. So that's why I did it. Cause I, when I buy things, even if I'm paying a higher premium, which I don't usually do, I'll pay a higher premium if there's even more value locked in it that I could sell. Like, and I could flip this. I could flip this and end up getting this under spot if I wanted to. So this is a King Tut. Look at this. Republic de Chad. So this is 3,000 francs. And this is five troy ounces. And I believe this was minted. I feel like this was minted by Scottsdale Mint. I could be wrong. CFA. Five troy ounce. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Chad. I guess they speak French and Chad. When we went to West Africa together, guys, Cote de Lavore, Cote de Lavore, Ivory Coast, I don't know if you want to say it. Um, they spoke French there. And remember, I went deep in the African market. You guys, that was the sketchiest market I've ever been in. And we found some old French silver coins. And there they call the silver coins Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc, something like this. And their coins were francs, and it said CFA, and I feel like it standard for like Central African franc, but I think it was CA, I don't remember if this is the same thing. Central African franc, I think is what it was, I don't know. Super cool chunk. And technically this is a coin, dude. This is a coin, bro. Technically this is a coin, 2016. 3,000 francs, 5 troy ounce, that is a chunk. 
Look at that Egyptian silver. I guess we can check it. I guess we can check it. Let's check her. So what do you guys think? Do you like the Egyptian stuff and the pirate stuff? That's why I really into, um, <clears throat> really into uh, MK bars. And I think my rounds are close to selling out. If you haven't gotten my pirate crab round from MK bars, this is your freaking last chance. Bring in the new year with history. So let's change this to five troy ounces. Doot, 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 doot. And then let's go here to metal. Make that pure. Will it fit? Oh, it barely fits. Barely fits. I think, yeah, no, we're good. I think it's like almost touching the sensor. We could also check with the bullion round. Yeah, there we go. I think it was touching the top of the sensor. Bada bang, bada boom. So what do you guys vote? If these were both five ounces, which one would you prefer? Bachelor number one with Horus, Horus doing the mummification or bachelor number two, King Tut. I believe this is called the King Tut. 3,000 francs. You guys, I have a favor to ask of you. The YouTube algorithm loves to suppress. Many of you are getting unsubscribed from me, and that's a way for YouTube to test if subs are real to see if people resubscribe, and they also will judge your virality by that. So please, like, comment, subscribe, and please, please, please hit that notification bell if you want to see my videos. Because on YouTube, it doesn't matter if you sub. And half the times, even if you hit notifications, it doesn't matter. They don't even freaking notify you. Uh, but thanks for joining me on my journey, guys. Around the world, buying gold and silver. You make it extremely, extremely, extremely fun for me. And I promise I've got some more in-depth videos coming for you soon. I'm going to do a video on these bad boys. I've been promising it for a long time. These are silver and almost put somebody in prison for a long time. So that's coming. Um, I've got a shocking video coming on pennies. I've got a shocking video coming on his silver crashing. And you guys, things are getting nuts. Things are getting wild. Closer we get to January 20, it's only going to get worse. Have your emergency fund. Have your emergency food. If you don't have emergency food, prepare with is.com. The cheapest deal ever on my Patriot Supply food. It lasts for 25 years. Put it in a closet. Forget about it. it can save you and your family's lives. And yes, I get a small kickback on it. It helps my channel. So thank you to that. MK Bars. Coupon code Crab People. Last chance to get my drunken crab rounds. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all supporting. Please stay safe out there. Protect yourselves. Protect your family. And be ready for anything. Whether it's a hurricane, tornado, <laughs> Or at this time in history, I wouldn't even be surprised if an alien invasion happened. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker on a journey.